absolutely fantastic. The ultimate bio booster armor figure is here and it's so cool, even the creators have deemed it out of control. First, let's crack these bad boys open. Max Factory Figma number 600, Guyver 1 Ultimate Edition. Figma has taken another swing at the Guyver universe, perfected their technique, and created one of the best Guyver 1 figures out here. With a fantastic sculpt, paint amps, accessories, and full range of articulation. Before we find out how fantastic Guyver 1 is, give this video a like, share, and shop HLJ. Guyver 1 is in the 6-inch scale standing just under 7 inches tall. Guyver 1 looks cool next to our other Figma Guyver figures, but he is out of scale with them. Now, he does look great next to our other Figma figures. Guyver 1 looks great next to our 6-inch scale Realbot figures. Next to our original BioFighter Collection figures, Guyver 1 looks nice, but he is definitely out of scale with them. Same goes for our Bio Fighter Wars figures. The scale checks out, now let's see how well Guyver 1 can move. Starting with the head, we can look up, down, left, right. Now something to be aware of when turning the head, sometimes this trap slash collar armor will actually turn with the head and it can become out of alignment. To fix that, all you have to do is just hold the collar armor in place, then turn the head back and everything will be nice and aligned. The shoulders have a great range of rotation. We can pull the shoulder joint all the way out. The arms can rotate a full 360 degrees. They can come up to a little bit higher than 90 degrees. We have an entire arm swivel. We have very nice double jointed elbows. We have a swivel in the elbows. We have a swivel in the forearms. The fists are on ball joints, so we can tilt and spin these freely. In the upper chest, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side, and lean side to side. And of course, we have our iconic gimmick. We can open up the chest panels, revealing the very nice Mega Smasher. We have, to my surprise, a very cool ab crunch. Check that all out, really nice bend here. In the waist, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side, and lean side to side. Moving down to the legs, to get the full range of motion in the legs, we can actually pull the hip joints outward, which is really cool. So we can kick forward this much, backward this much, come to the side about this much. We have a thigh swivel. We have very nice double jointed knees. The feet can tilt and swivel, and then finally the toes are articulated. When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, Guyver 1 is absolutely fantastic. Starting from the top, we have our semi-sharp teal head fin with our biological skin and metallic crimson sensory organs at the base. As we come down on the sides of the head, we have our larger metallic silver sensory orbs. In the center of the forehead, we have our metallic emerald green head beam and our large metallic silver control metal. The eyes have a round, translucent, metallic magenta sculpt. When the lights hit the eyes just right, they look like they have LEDs inside. This is fantastic here. In the center of the mouth, we have our gravity orbs and exhaust vents. The chest has a fantastic teal armored sculpt with pronounced pecs, abs, and various biological elements. Wrapping around the sides of the chest, we have our biological fulcrums. In the waist, we have the metallic silver gravity orb. 
Inside of the chest, we had the Mega Smasher with a translucent lens body, textured yellow base, and metallic silver center. The shoulders and arms have an armored sculpt with the sharp high-frequency blades on the forearms. The legs have a slender muscular armored sculpt with various breaks in the armor. The feet have a simple clean smooth sculpt. Now, I picked up three Giver 1 Ultimate Edition figures, not for QC issues, but to support this release in the hopes we get more Giver figures from Figma. Since we have them here though, I'm happy to report there are no QC issues on any of my Giver 1 figures. Everything is consistent and fantastic. Now comparing Giver 1 with our Biofighter Collection Giver 1 and our original Figma Giver 1, the differences are pretty drastic. It feels like Ultimate Giver 1 is channeling more of the 2005 version of Giver 1, while the Biofighter Collection Giver 1 leans on the OVA with a more sharp and angular sculpt. When comparing these two to the Figma Giver 1, I'm not gonna lie, the Figma Giver 1 kinda looks bad now. Either way, I'm happy to have all of my Giver figures, and I truly believe this Giver figure is the ultimate Giver figure to own. For accessories, first up we have our four pairs of hands. We have a pair of chopping hands, open hands, a pair of holding hands with nothing to hold strangely, and a pair of gripping hands. Next, we have the Giver 1 unit with a very nice sculpt. We have the armor plates with nice panel lining, the metallic silver control metal in the center, and detailed biological components inside of the armor. Really nice here. Next, we have our simple standard Figma stand that plugs directly into Giver 1's lower back. Now, if you pre order Giver 1 directly from the Good Smile shop, you got a special custom black stand with the Giver logo on the base and multiple points to plug the stand into the base. Next, we have our extended high frequency blades that easily plug into the forearms. Finally, we have our alternate iconic faceplate with show pulling the armor back that easily swaps with our standard faceplate and a special hand that connects to the wrist. This looks really cool and really is a fantastic accessory to include with this ultimate Giver figure. Also for fun, here it is compared with the Biofighter Collection Giver 1 Image Plus version. Now, let's do some scene building. As a whole, Giver 1 turned out to be absolutely fantastic. The sculpt is fantastic, the paint-ups are clean, we have great accessories, and Giver 1 is fully poseable. I absolutely love this figure. It's really awesome to get another Giver figure after it's been so long. I'm extremely excited for the 12-inch scale version of this figure that's on its way later this year, and I have my fingers crossed that we will get more Figma releases and they go really deep in the line this time. I'm talking about Giver 2, Giver 3, Aptum, Guot, Murakami, Zoonoids, Zoolords, anything and everyone. I love this figure and I absolutely recommend picking him up. 
Now, how much does Giver 1 cost? I imported my main Figma Giver 1 Ultimate Edition figure directly from the Good Smile website for $84. I imported my other two Giver 1 figures from Hobby Link Japan for $70 apiece. To see more Giver reviews or other Giver related content, click the links on screen right now. Be sure to follow me on social media, definitely follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you guys in the next review.